hello everyone today I'm going to analyze a 10 story OMRF uh, building and uh, analyze first by manual calculation and then I will compare with the star pro whether I am getting the same value or not so this example I have taken from the earthquake resistant design of structures is the name of book which is second edition and this book has been published by uh, has been written by one of the Indian professor uh, his name is SK Dogal and uh, this example uh, has been taken from page number 238 and the example given a 10 story OMRF building mean OMRF upgraded from the uh, ordinary moment resistant frame structure uh, the dimension is uh, 24 by 24 is a 10 story building the height of uh, each story is 3 meter the dead load to a perennial area of the floor consisting of the floor slab along with the relative uh, uh, finishes etc is for etc uh, is 4 kN per square meter weight of the partition on the floor can be assumed to be 2 kN per square meter the intensity of the live load on each floor is 3 kN per square meter and the intensity of live load for roof is which is the glass floor is 1.5 kN per square meter the soil below the foundation is hard soil and the building is located in, determine, uh, in uh, Delhi now we are going to determine the seismic force and shear at different floor level <coughs> the specification for my building the member size beam size is 600 300 mm size of column is 300 and 600 mm and the size of building is 24 by 24 meter is 10 story building height of each story, uh, story is 3 meter uh, dead load we discussed before including the finishing and self of the slab is 4 newton per square meter 2 newton per square meter is the weight of the partition which will inf which uh, influence on the floor live load on each floor is 3 newton per square meter live load on the roof is uh, 1.5 newton per square meter soil is hard and the building is located in Delhi so this is the plan of my building uh, length and width of each room is 6 by 6 uh, here in the length we have 1, 2, 3, 4 base and the uh, width also in the y axis also we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 base uh, number of base along the height is uh, 10 means 10 story it's 24 by 24 meter plan building area so now you are going to start the calculation now we, we will take we will discuss first about the design parameter which design parameter have been uh, given in the specification uh, as this building is located in Delhi Delhi is in zone number 4 uh, as per IS 18293 uh, court, Indian standard code the India is uh, divided into 4 region uh, or 4 zone, zone 1 uh, zone start from zone 2, 3, 4, 5 zone, zone 2 is uh, having the intensity of 0 0.1 and zone 3 is uh, having the intensity of 0 0.16 and zone 4 is uh, having the intensity of uh, 0 0.24 and zone 5 is having the intensity of 0 0.36 so here zone 5 4 as per IS code when you refer to the IS1893 code you will get for zone 4 the zone factor will be equal with 0 0.24 0 0.24 importance factor is I this is general building not that much important so the factor we will take as per IS code uh, 18931 1. response reduction factor again uh, we will take this value from the code uh, for the OMRF this is different for different type of structure for, for this particular building which is OMRF uh, earth moment resistant frame we will take 3 and uh, now we will calculate the seismic width of the entire building in the equivalent static method what we are required to find what is our aim what is our object we will first discuss about our aim what we are going to do what we are looking for to find so uh, actually in the equivalent static method we are in interesting to find the base uh, the design base shear which is vb and is equal with this is formula uh, for the design base shear vb is equal with ah into w what is vb vb is the design base uh, uh, shear force ah is the uh, uh, basic horizontal seismic coefficient w is the entire or the total seismic width of the structure so in this formula two parameter i will compute uh, first i will start from the total seismic width of the structure let to start uh, from first i will start the effective height uh, at each floor except the roof this is for all the floor not for the roof for the roof we will do later 
for Clinton we discussed before this the slavit along with its uh, uh, relevant uh, finishes finishing plus two is uh, Clinton perspirator is the uh, <coughs> the width of the partition wall and three three is the uh, Kilnetton per square meter the live load as per IS 1893 code when the intensity of the live load is more than 3 we will bring a reduction in the case of imposed load or live load by 50% here this is 3 or less than 3 if you have as per IS 1893 code we will uh, bring uh, the reduction in the live load by 25% this is uh, 3 kilonewton per square meter which is given in the example so I will bring reduction by in the live load by 25% here 25% then we will get to 6.7 5 kilonewton per square meter and for the roof you are not going to consider the live load as per IS 1893 code only we will take the uh, uh, self fit of the slab uh, with rel with its relevant uh, finishing item and there in the roof we don't have any partition wall so I'm not taking two only I will take four width of the beam at each floor and the roof uh, size of the beam is 0 0.3 into 0 0.6 240 25 is the density of concrete was two what is uh, 240 here let refer to the plan so 1 2 3 4 4 into 6 24 1 2 3 4 4 into uh, 6 24 so we will count the line 1 2 3 4 5 and the row wise we have uh, 1 2 3 4 5 row and column also 5 5 5 means uh, 10 and 10 and 2 24 we will get the total length for the beam which is equal with 240 is equal with 1080 kN weight of column at each floor will be uh, 0 0.3 to 0 0.6 which is the dimension of the column 2.4 what is 2.4 2.4 is the net height of the column which, which we can calculate from the uh, overall height of the structure uh, of the floor overall height of the floor is 3 meter as we discussed before and 0 0.6 is the overall depth of the beam we will uh, deduct overall depth of the beam 0 0.6 from the overall height of the floor which is 3 we will give 2.4 2.5 is a uh, density of concrete and kilonewton per cubic meter in this 25 is the number of column again we will refer to the uh, plan 1 2 3 4 5 uh, column we have in 1 2 3 4 5 5 into 5 25 so we will get to 270 kilonewton load for all the column and all the floors not in on the floor only for one floor uh, weight of the column at the roof as per IS1893 code we, uh, uh, the vertical member load should be uh, half should be transferred to the upper uh, to the upper floor and the rest half uh, or 50 percent should be <coughs> transferred to the bottom floor here we will get 135 kN total area of the plan is 20 uh, of the building is 24 by 24 we will get this much area for the for the entire building equivalent load at the roof level 4 and 2 the 4 is the dead uh, the self fit of the slab in uh, its uh, finishing uh, into the entire area of the structure plus the weight of the beam at each floor and the roof this much and we will plus this with the 135 the half uh, column load we will get uh, 3519 kN above the roof we don't have any other column so we will consider on the half load equivalent load at each floor for the floor we will again consider 6.75 which is 4 plus 2 plus 30 uh, percent of the uh, 25 percent of the livelihood is considered here so we will calculate we calculated here this i will multiply with the total area of the building plus the uh, weight of the beam at each floor plus uh, 270 why are taken here 270 for the column load because this floor are uh, the column load are coming from the up and bottom uh, floor so it should be double 270 then we will get to 5238 kN seismic weight of the building we got this the roof weight plus and I, the rest nine stories or nine floors we will get multiply this in uh, 5238 into 9 uh, finally the total seismic weight of the building is 50661 kN we got this W uh, uh, total seismic weight of the structure we have calculated so here i will calculate it ah which is the horizontal seismic coefficient uh, uh, seismic coefficient ah is equal we can get the ah value from this formula zeta upon 2 into i upon r into sa upon g 
uh, that is in factor uh, as my building is in uh, zone number four and uh, zone number four located in Delhi the zone factor will be 0 0.24 and uh, the uh, imports factor of this general building one uh, here R is uh, response reduction factor 3 and 1.04 is the value of AC upon G now we will discuss about uh, AC upon G uh, which is uh, average response acceleration coefficient we will discuss how we can find it uh, as the material is concrete the damping ratio for the concrete is 5 percent and the type of soil is type 1 mean hard soil now we will for finding is a upon g a coefficient we are uh, we will first uh, find the fundamental natural period of vibration of the structure as my building is a uh, moment uh, other than moment resistant frame without infill means there is not uh, any uh, walls so uh, only i have considered the skeleton of the structure means this is without infill no infills members are there so this formula is for is 1893 i will use t is equal to 0.075 uh, h into is uh, into power, uh, power is to 0.75 h small h is the overall height or the total height of the structure 10 story h to is 3 meter uh, 3 into th uh, 10 will be equal to 30 after calculation i will get the a fundamental nature period of the vibration for the for the particular structure 0 0.96 second so i got the fundamental natural period of vibration ta i will refer to the code let's see uh, my soil type below the foundation is not medium so i will not use this part not uh, soft soil so i am not going to through this part also this for rocky or hard soil i will go through this formula uh, so mm, I will check again uh, how much was that 0 0.96 and here this is this interval is from 0 to 0 0.1 no uh, 0 0.1 to 0 0.4 no 0 0.4 to 0 4 second uh, my t is located which is 0 0.96 so I will use this formula uh, uh, this formula 1 divided by t t is 0 0.96 then I will get uh, 1.04 so now i got the h value which is equal to 0 0.0416 base shear vb is equal with h into w this value i will put here and this is w is the total seismic weight of the structure this i will put now i found 2107.5 newton which is the design base shear so the, i will now go for the design letter force at each floor this formula we will use qi is equal with vb uh, into WIHI square uh, divided by summation of just start from first story up to n which is 10 story to WI into HI square <coughs> this formula uh, uh, this uh, table we will use and this is temp template table everywhere it should be used in this uh, first column we mentioned the number of stories as mass number and here WI the total weight of the structure here the height of the structure it start from the top 30 meter again from below floor up to the last floor first floor means the ground floor WIHI square so WI, uh, W at the uh, roof at the roof this much 3519 3519 and for the risk all is equal for the risk floor how much was that 5238 5238 so it should be start from the top last floor 30 minus 3 minus 3 up to 3 meter so now wi into hi square this square root this square we will multiply with 3519 and that one uh, we will write here and this 27 we will square after that we will multiply with 5238 uh, we will get uh, this much we will write here the for the rest we will do the same procedure now we will go for the wi hi square uh, summation of wi w i into h i square what is the summation wi h i square this should be summation of all the floor weight here we have written now wi h i square we have found here this should be divided with this summation we will write here this uh, 3818502 should be divided by 16602570 we will write here for the rest we will do the same procedure here uh, what is this this i told you qi qi is equal with vb into this the result of this column the result of this column already we have computed here we have written and now i will multiply with the vb vb is 2107.5 all will be 
all will be the same procedure for this for all we will write accordingly so what is why is actually the cumulative the cumulative of the design literal load for each floor so i will write here and this this i will plus with this we will write here this result i will uh, plus with this we will write here accordingly for the rest and this is the diagram now this was manual calculation so now i am going to start the start pro and we will check the result with start pro new project click on the space here we will write the name for the project file name equivalent static method comparison study unit for length is meter and for the first is kilonewton next add beam selected finish the first step in the start pro will go to create the model come to geometry run structure wizard here select frame model double click on the bay frame here the length of my building is 24 meter width of the building is 24 meter height is 30 meter which is 10 story here number of bay along the length is 4 number of bay along the width is 4 number of bay along the height is 10 because 10 story each story should be 3 ok apply come to the file menu merge module start pro model yes uh, here x y z should be 0 because i am going to go for this origin ok now unclick the default grid first procedure is completed secondly i will come and apply, assign the property and dimension to the members so come to the general and then define uh, click on the rectangular here first i will give the beam size 0 0.6 the overall depth of the beam and this is the weight add material should be concrete add for the column size 0 0.3 into 0 0.6 material should be concrete add close now we will apply the material and dimension to the beam come to the select menu beams parallel to x again beam parallel to z all beams are selected in all the floors so assign to selected beam assign yes now we will assign to the column select the column size and material beam parallel to the y all columns for all the floor selected assign to selected beam assign yes okay in the third step we will come to the support support create the support support should be fixed add select the support and select all base of the building i will come to the uh, isometric view whether all nodes are selected or not yes selected now we will assign to the selected node assign yes this step already now also this step completed the fourth step will be the load as i earlier mentioned in my previous video in the case of uh, wind or seismic or earthquake uh, load for before dead and live load and roof load we will go for for the seismic definition first we will go for the seismic definition click on the seismic definition add here we will uh, introduce the system uh, I am using IS Indian standard code there are lots of uh, codes Turkish code Algerian code uh, Colombian code Japanese code so IS means abbreviated of Indian standard code 1893 2002 2005 I will select this <coughs> now click on the generate button in the generate here again uh, the zone factor is in city and zone wise now I will select city here I will find the delay all India city will be here delay <coughs> delay is in zone 4 so zone 4 intensity or zone factor 0 0.24 uh, response reduction factor i will take first select my i will find omrf ordinary rc moment resisting frame omrf my building the response reduction factor will be 3 building is all general for all general will be 1 <coughs> the soil type is hard soil and the structure is rc frame structure dumping ratio should be 0 0.05 and period in x what is that that we have computed already in the manual calculation so we are not required to go uh, again so here t is equal to 0 0.96 as my length and width of the building is same and same in 24 <coughs> if it's not same then we will go first for the length and then we will calculate for the width now it's same we'll <coughs> 
uh, we'll click here uh, 96 and the z direction also 96 we'll go generate at here all value inserted in the previous window came here we will now select add the first i will go for the self fit add Secondly, i will come to the floor width the floor width, width is 6.75 we discuss and calculate in the word uh, 6.5 came from the um, 4 kiloton per square meter for the self fit of the slab and 2 kiloton per square meter for the partition which is equal with 6 and 0 0.75 as far as is 1893 uh, we are required to bring reduction in the level by 25 percent level is 3 kN 25 percent is 0 0.75 so 6 plus 0 0.75 will be 6.75 and the direction should be and I'm not going to apply the live load uh, to the uh, to the uh, roof only I will apply it to the all floor except the roof so it should be start from the ground floor height up to 27 to the last second at okay this also finished now we will come to the roof load uh, roof load will be 4 uh, I am not uh, in the roof we don't have any partition only not so we are not required to take the live load only the self of the slab I will add this for the roof it should be from 28 to 30 30 add it is completed now we will come to the load case detail in the load case detail select on the load case detail add first we will select the seismic seismic eqx along the x-axis for the two faces i'm considering eq z okay and now for the dead load dead load at dead load at now for the live load and roof live load roof live load at now again we will select the eqx first we are going to complete the definition each and everything related to the seismic so select the eqx add go to the seismic load uh, it should be in x direction factor should be one add close select the eqz add seismic load z direction factor should be again one close now we completed the seismic now we will come to the dead load dead load select dead load at first we will come to the self fit the self fit is only for the vertical and horizontal member for beam and column it should at now we will come to the uh, dead load self fit completed now we will come to the floor load here i will consider the self fit of the slab and the partition 6 plus 4 minus 6 plus 2 uh, 4 plus 2 minus 6 should be from 32 27 add again I will uh, self fit there is uh, 3 to 27 red lower self fit uh, ok this stage also completed uh, yeah now I will assign the self fit assign to the view assign to yes now click on the live load add again we'll come to the floor for the live load we have 3 kiloton it should be for all the floor except the roof from 3 to 27 add close now we'll come to the roof load and the roof load we'll consider to load one live load and one should be the self fit of the slab there is no partition so self fit of the slab minus 4 and live load is minus uh, 1.5 1.5 and 4 minus 5.5 that should be only for the roof for the top floor 27 to 30 y direction global all load should be downward gravity load this is why i have given here I put a minus sign Alright. ok now complete it now we will come to the analyze point i need all the data so click on the all add close 
analyze run analyze save now we will see the result and compare that with the manual calculation okay view output file there is no error that's fine view output file done okay here I will check the value which I have calculated in the manual calculation okay <coughs> let us see time period for x one eight, as per is one eight nine three loading is 0 0.96 we have calculated the manual calculation also so we will check that okay fundamental initial period of the vibration is 0 0.96 that's fine again i will come to see here this is the value of ah vb is equal with h into w h is the basic uh, seismic horizontal coefficient and this is the total seismic weight of the structure now we will check the ah value and compare that with the manual calculation ah value is 0 0.0416 this is in manual calculation and here also same to each other again i will check the total seismic the seismic weight of the structure here is 50661 here I will check 5066 instead of 661 here only 5 kN difference in the load no problem again I will check here ok the lateral distribution force we will check for each flow in 3 meter this is 6 here I will check the manual calculation in this table how much for the 3 meter it is 6 ok that's fine and we'll come to the 6 meter which is second floor 24 here how much 24 that's fine here we'll check for 9 meter 54 and here we'll check 54 that's right here we'll check for the 4th floor 12 meter height 96.03 here I will check 95.7 almost 96 that's fine so all you are required to check 150 for the 5th floor here 149.5 150 ok all is same so hope you got information related to the analysis of the earthquake by equivalent static method and that compare I have compared with the uh, manual calculation which both are same to same maybe and the accuracy will be 99 percent it means that we uh, have done through 100 percent correct so I hope you guys to get a bit information about the analysis and now we can run our project for future concern without any doubt so thanks so much for the kind attention and you you will watch watch my future videos which will be related to the response spectrum method and the rest i will do for the uh, lumbus model system so two system is remain thanks and bye bye